You say through hardship, hard hardship to the star. Can sure. you say that? Yeah. Through hardship, hardship is a term. Yeah, through hardship. Mm -hmm. So my favorite sentence in Italian, but uh, probably my favorite one is a Latin one that says "per aspera ad astra," which means through hardship to the stars. Before COVID, I would have probably gone anywhere. The United States, I've been home for more than 10 years, lived there in DC, in Chicago. Paris was home for four years. I've been around a little bit. And uh, at the end of the day, I think of myself as a product of uh, globalization and immigration. I haven't been back to Italy since the pandemic started. Before COVID, I used to go to Italy once a month. My mother starts to have a certain age, you know, like I can't go on two years without seeing her. I'm not able to go back till there is the need to quarantine because quarantining each direction makes it not affordable to go. I uh, work as the managing director of Italy Toronto. We opened our first Italy here in Canada, our flagship, in uh, November of uh, 2019. We are restaurants, we're retail, we are quick service restaurants, we're cooking school. Italy has been open longer during a COVID world than a non-COVID world. Opening a 50,000 square feet place that has uh, 60, 70,000 visitors per week isn't a joke. We have more than 40 different jobs, so we aggregated the team, we found all the team, we hired the full fleet, which is, uh, we were 500 when we started. And uh, of course, we hired the people that were already in Toronto, but we also brought from Italy, from our Italian stores, 10 guys, 13 eventually, that uh, came to help for the opening. And uh, they came on a temporary uh, visa, but they all were very excited about potentially staying. Unfortunately, we lost all of them because the moment the pandemic hit, we, we were afraid for them, their families, so it was the safest thing. We just got them into a plane and sent them back home. Unfortunately, I tried to get some of them back. None came back. Came back. You know, they went on with their life back in Italy. Some went to Dubai. Some went to England. A lot of people are shifting their career to uh, some businesses that are more uh, pandemic-proof. When... Uh, 80% uh, of your business is shut down and, and you have bills to pay and it's, it's, it, it brings quite a little bit of stress. Because the pandemic in Europe uh, had an epicenter in Italy, there were some articles going on about Italian places potentially not being safe in Canada, in Toronto. So we were probably one of the first establishments to suffer COVID. It was uh, very interesting to see how people adapted to this new world. I had chefs work as butchers, cheesemongers. Uh, I had some restaurant manager work as cashier or work as like, so people started to really embrace and uh, be available and wear whatever hat was available to them during that time. I've been working very often uh, six, seven days a week uh, because of this uncertainty and planning, continuous planning, doing 20 different scenarios. Are we opening in two weeks? Are we opening in a month? Are we not reopening at all? What's happening? The biggest struggle right now, uh, I think is probably on a personal level, I would say loneliness, uh, because uh, when you work in a, such a high pace environment and so on, your biggest enemy is stress, but stress can be managed. There are ways to manage it that, are, uh, that you can learn. And uh, you can do some meditation, you can run, you can do things. I was never exposed to loneliness, so I didn't know what to do. I think that this pandemic has uh, shown us that uh, without socializing, within time, we shut down. I heard so many people, some of my friends, even my mother, who couldn't read books anymore, because this uncertainty, this anxiety, was not allowing them to enjoy this free time. Uh, because on paper, if you're stuck in a 
place in Tuscany like my mother was, it should be fantastic. But when you're by yourself, you can't see other people, you're not allowed to go out, and all those things, all those restrictions create a fog in your brain. <laughs> I've tried to stay in touch uh, with some of my friends, but my circle of friends has reduced dramatically compared to the past. After COVID, I think I would probably go live, if I had to move from Canada, I would go back to one of the places where I have family and friends. I don't right now have uh, energy or strength to start from scratch and zero in another place, also because if, similar to what happened here, I'm not able to socialize enough, then I'm going to go through another loneliness component, which, as I experienced, is not something I'm looking forward to.